Hi guys, so in today's video we are going to be making these cotton dishcloths. I hope you guys enjoy them and let's go ahead and get into this video. Today I am going to be using a number 4 cotton yarn. This is by Lily and Cream and I'm not sure what the colors are called. I will have it in the description box below this video. You can use any color that you would like to use or any colors. Um, you can definitely switch on and off different colors for today's video. I'm going to be using this as my main color and this will be my border color um, or should I say my contrasting color. And then today's hook I will be using a G 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. Okay to begin you are going to start with a small piece at the end and you are going to create a slip knot. And put that slip knot onto your hook and shut that close. You want to do multiples of 16 plus 1 and um, for the size I am creating I am going to chain 32 plus 1. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 31, and 32. Now after I've chained my 32 chains you want to add one chain. To begin our foundation row you are going to yarn over and you are going to put your first double crochet into the third chain from the hook. So there is our first, our second, and here is our third chain. You're going to yarn over and you are going to place a double crochet into that chain. Just like that. After that first double crochet into the third chain, you're going to yarn over and put one double crochet into the next five chains. There is one, and two, three, There's four, and there's our fifth chain. We should have six double crochets. This is not counting as anything, this chain. So we're counting from right here, this very first double crochet. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So you want to have six double crochets into the very next chain after that six stitch right there you're going to yarn over and place what is called a shell and this shell will consist of a double crochet a chain two and another double crochet this is traditionally known as the v-stitch but in this pattern it will be known as the shell so in this next stitch place your double crochet whoops and then chain two one and two and then into that same stitch right there you're going to place another double crochet work one double crochet into the next six stitches. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, five and six okay and that's what our work is starting to look like so 
Now these next two chains right here, you're going to bypass those and you aren't going to do anything inside of those. You see those two chains? So what we want to do is skip one and two and jump to the third stitch. So one, two, and then jump to that third. And then we have like a little hole right there. And so after this, you want to put one double crochet into those next five stitches. So there's one. There's one and two. Let's clarify that. There's three and four. There's five. And we are at the sixth stitch. And there is another um, peak that's coming up. Into the next stitch after, right here, we are going to be working a shell. Again, that is a um, double crochet. And then we want to chain up two. One and two. Then you want to yarn over and go back into that very same stitch, working another double crochet. Okay. Then we want to work one double crochet into the next five stitches. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four. And then we have one more stitch, which is the fifth stitch. Okay, so that's what that looks like. Okay, so we will have four chains remaining. Okay, there's one, two, three, four. We want to double crochet, decrease those um, stitches. So into this next stitch, we're going to yarn over and we're going to put our hook through then we're going to pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over go into the next stitch next to that put our hook through pull up a, a loop one two three four loops should be on your hook yarn over pull through two chains you will be left with three loops onto your um, hook. You're going to then yarn over and then pull through all of those. Repeat that again. Yarn over into those next two chains. Repeat what we just did. So you're going to again yarn over, go into this chain right here, and then pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through yarn over go into the next chain which is our very last chain then you're going to pull up a loop whoops and then you're going to yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through all three of those and we have two decreases at the end so this is what your work should be looking like so far. It has its peak, and then its valley, and then its peak, and then its valley is how it should be going. For row two, you are going to be chaining up three. There's one, two, and three. And you're just going to flip your work this way. For row two, you're going to skip your very first stitch right here. You're going to do nothing there. Into this next stitch, you're going to work a double crochet. Okay. And then into those next five stitches, you're going to put one double crochet. So there's one, two, three. Four, 
five, and then six. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I did here. Um, this is our very first double crochet, but technically it did, it counts, but then it doesn't count as our first stitch. Um, it may be confusing, but just pretend that this isn't there. Um, once we put our first double crochet here, we're going to put five more, which makes six. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five, and then six. Six is going to be pretty much our golden number in this pattern. So right here is the shell that we've done, which is the double crochet, chain two, and then the double crochet. We're going to do nothing into this next stitch right here, okay? You don't put anything there. In this next um, chain two space right here, what you're going to do is just work another um, shell, which is a double crochet and a chain two, and then work another double crochet into that same stitch. After this, you want to put one double crochet into the next six stitches. So here's our very first stitch. One. Two. Three. Four. Five and six okay and then you will come to where you have one stitch remaining right here and then you have that little hole right here so you want to skip the next two stitches so skip one and two and then jump straight into the stitch right here because you want to continue that little hole and it will look just like that we want to put one double crochet into the next five stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and then we want to have six. So go into the stitch right here. That will be our sixth stitch. Now don't be confused because I say work one double crochet into the next five stitches and um, I always include this count because you want to have a total of six, not just five, but you want to have six. So when I say in the next five stitches, that means that that is excluding this one, one, two, three, four, five, but I count this one in my head like, you know, with it included it makes six. If that makes sense, you know, if it's confusing to you, I'm so sorry. Um, but that's how it makes sense to me as a crocheter. <laughs> so in this next um, V-stitch, of course, you're just going to work your V-stitch or your shell, should I say. Um, your double crochet and your chain two. And then you want to work another double crochet into that next stitch. just like that. Okay, here is where it gets tricky. In any other case after, I don't know, row three, you will not be putting a double crochet into the very first chain after, you know, the last V of the row. Um, you won't be doing that, but excluding this row, you will be putting a double crochet in here. This is the exception, is only for um, row two. So you're going to work one double crochet into this stitch and then put one double crochet into the next four stitches and we want to have a total of five. Okay, so counting this one, that's one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so it's going to be very tricky here at the end, especially if like you're a beginner. Um, you're going to be like, well, hey, you know, what about this, you know, chain two at the end? You're going to ignore that completely. And we did two decreases 
in row one. You don't want to do that here. There should be technically only two stitches left. So there's one and two. What you're going to do is do one um, double crochet decrease. Okay. We're going to decrease that bad boy. Pull through two and then yarn over and pull through all three of those. Okay. And that's what we have. That is how you want to end um, row two. For row three, you're going to chain up three and then you're going to turn your work. Um, so this is what I was talking about. So in the previous row, we um, had worked a double crochet into there, but we don't want to do that now. So we want to bypass this double crochet from our um, shell, our previous shell. So there's that. You don't want to put nothing there. You want to skip that, pretend it's not there. And then you want to work a double crochet into that next stitch. And then you want to put one double crochet into the next four stitches. Okay, so we want to have a total of five with this right here. One, two, three, four, and then here is our fifth stitch. Now we will have two double crochets left. Well, there's the double crochet and there's the chain three. We're going to do a um, double crochet decrease. So go into that stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, you know, kind of like you would a regular double crochet. Then you're going to yarn over and then at the top of the chain three, you're going to stick your hook through there, pull up a loop, okay? You should have one, two, three, four loops on your hook, okay? You're going to yarn over and pull through two of those. And then you're going to yarn over and pull through the last three loops on your hook. And that is a decrease. For row four, you're going to chain up three, and then you're going to turn your work. So after this, you're just going to be repeating um, row three, okay? So what you're going to do for every row is bypass your very first stitch because you know the, the chain three is there. So into the very next stitch, you're going to put a double crochet into there. That's going to be your first stitch. And then into the next five stitches, you're going to put one double crochet. And that's going to be a total of six with this guy right here. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and there is our sixth stitch. Then when you come to the, you know, the shell right here, that chain two space, you're going to create the same stitch with a double crochet, a chain two, and then put another double crochet into that space. Then you want to put one double crochet into these next six stitches. One. Two. three, four, five, and there is our sixth stitch, okay? So that's what that looks like. It's really easy, I promise. Once you guys um, get the hang of this, it's like, it's going to fly by. So um, we're going to skip those next two stitches like always and then we're going to join with a double crochet to create our little hole right there we're going to put one double crochet into the next five stitches again this should have a total of six okay 
one, two, three, four, five, and then here's our six stitch. Into this next chain two space, again, work your shell, which is a double crochet, a chain up two, and another double crochet. Okay. Then, then from here on in throughout, you're always going to skip this stitch. Okay, pretend it doesn't exist. You know, like an ex-boyfriend. <laughs> Just pretend it doesn't, you know, exist. And then into the next five stitches, you're going to put one double crochet. There's one. Two. Oops. I need to get through both yarns. Two. And three. Four. And five. Okay, so we should have two stitches remaining in the end. Again, you want to double crochet, decrease. Okay. And then get into that chain three right there and yeah that is your decrease so with that said you're going to continue repeating um, round three all the way until you get to the end of row 15 for more tips on how to make it bigger or longer please visit below into the description box that has all that information for you guys but I am going to um, repeat this until the end of 15 I will come back and I will show you guys how I do the border around my um, ripple dish towel okay so we are coming to the end of row 15 so I'm towards the end right here there's one two three four, five, and then at these last two stitches as usual you're going to double crochet decrease. Just like that. Then after this, once you get the length that you want and desire for your towels, what you could do is just um, chain one and then finish off by cutting the end of the yarn towel. Okay, so I've turned my work on its side and it's right facing up and wrong side facing down. This is row 15 and I'm just going to join with my crochet hook at the end of row 15 I'm going to stick my hook through that stitch and then just pull the yarn through and slip stitch that through and I'm going to single crochet two times into that stitch so there is one and then two okay because that's a corner so you want to do two single crochets into every corner that you come into and what we're going to do is just put one single crochet into every stitch that you can um, and just where it makes sense to place it at and you really want to try to work in these chains because if you don't and you see how there's like a, a little hole right here it's going to create a bigger hole if you go in here and put a single crochet so what you want to do is go into the middle of that chain softly and be gentle about it. Try not to tug on the, the chain too much. And then after this, I like to go right here. And sometimes you just kind of have to push your weight in there. And 
and as you can see I'm actually working over the yarn tails the old one and the backing yarn of this color where we started and we're just going to continue that just putting one single crochet around this whole entire piece as you know you can and how you want to and then I wanted to also tell you guys that when you come to the top you also want to place one single crochet into each and every stitch and then when you come into the V stitch you're also going to place one single crochet in these um, chain twos right here when you've come to the end you will have this little space right here so here's our first single crochet and then our second single crochet that we made right here I want to show you guys what I do um, I don't like to slip stitch to join because it leaves a little bump and I like to do the invisible join method so I'm going to show you guys how to do that real quick and um, so basically you don't slip stitch so whatever you do don't slip stitch what you're going to do is just chain one and then you're just going to leave a sort of a long tail um, long enough to uh, weave in your ends so what you want to do is take a yarn needle any yarn needle would be great um, I really don't recommend plastic because it tends to be a little bit more harder to weave in but any metal yarn needle will do um, I have a slanted bent yarn needle as you can see what you want to do is not this first single crochet but the second single crochet we're going to put our yarn needle through okay and you're just going to pull that now it's going to look a little funky at first and it's going to look like that you then want to take your yarn needle and weave it through this very first single crochet well this is where we chained one at the end that's our last stitch and you're just going to pull that through that stitch so as you can see it's sort of creating like a stitch so when you pull that through it's going to look like that and then what you're going to do is just weave in your ends go about your business and just weave it where you want to so you just kind of pull that shut and what I like to do is just turn my work on its back so I do a couple of stitches and then I'll just take my needle and just weave it through those stitches okay so you're just gonna weave those through the back stitches or wherever you feel comfortable doing them and I like and prefer the metal yarn needles because they get through tough stitches and cotton's not really easy to get through with plastic so that's why I say use um, a metal yarn needle so what you could do is go back this way working one more time through those stitches and then do another time this way to secure it um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I will be back as soon as I'm done here and there is our finished and completed cotton dish towel I hope you guys really enjoy this video if you guys did please do not forget to give me a big thumbs up and leave a comment below I love to hear back from you guys and um, happy crocheting so I will see you guys in the next video bye you guys